Hey, hey, friends, I'm almost live on my Facebook page. There we have it. Hey, so good to see you. Happy Saturday. The weekend is finally here. I'm trying to do better about going live here on my page and my personal profile because there's so many amazing, incredible things the Lord has been showing me on my journey for healing in the inside out we are spirit, we are soul, we are body, just as First Thessalonians says about us. And so I just wanted to come on live. Something the Lord just put on my heart today that I wanted to share with you is the truth and the power of the blood of the Lord and the releasing of forgiveness and how important that is for us. We think about right when some when we have a um, something that happens in life because we live in the world and let's just face it in the world things happen and we get a fiery dart that comes at us and we it could land and hurt us right hit part of our heart that just causes this this wound and this we know that heart wounds as one of my mentors says Pedro Day or heart wounds cause blind spots which affect every area of our life our relationships our health our businesses. It affects everything. That's why it's so important that we work on having a whole heart because the Lord says in Ezekiel that he'll give us a singleness of heart, a wholeness of heart. We were created to live wholeheartedly, right? But life happens. And so I just wanted to share just for a moment today about the power of releasing forgiveness. You know, when things happen in life, the reality is not if, it's when, because we live in the world and things happen. And oftentimes it's the ones who are closest to us growing up, our family, our father, our mother, our grandma, grandpa, brothers and sisters, siblings, right? Stuff happens. And as we get older, it's friends, it's spouses, it's coworkers. You know, we live in a world and we're all different. We all have different ways that we live, operate, things that are important to us, different ways of communicating. And oftentimes our communication could just be a misdirection of a dart, dart that could land when it wasn't even intended to, right? So there's so many reasons and ways that our heart can get hit by something. And I just wanted to just share with you guys as I move forward as a powerful heart healing facilitator, what I've seen so often. I kind of knew this in my own life. I'm not going to go over my whole journey with you, but I kind of knew the importance of Ephesians 6, 12, our battles never with flesh and blood. But what I have seen so much more so how that's been highlighted to me is that when we have a heart wound, when something has landed, a dart has landed on us and we haven't released that forgiveness. And I should say releasing the forgiveness as well as releasing the pain, the hurt, and the trauma that kind of go hand in hand. So I probably should change my title to say releasing forgiveness and everything that goes with it, <laughs> because there's a lot that comes with that. But when we have a heart wound of something that happens and we don't release that forgiveness, there's so, like I said, it affects that heart wound affects every area of our life. But the power of being able to realize Ephesians 6, 12 is real. When you understand the power of that word, his word is living and operative. That means that we can know the power of the word of his word in, in his Bible, right? We know that Ephesians 6, 12 says our battle is never with flesh and blood. It's so important to realize that, that each time somebody might come into the other alignment, not with God's kingdom, the other kingdom, we only have two, that's when the fiery darts can be released. And we oftentimes look at the person who's releasing it. But if you take a moment to realize, oh, that word in Ephesians 6, 12 says our battle is never with flesh and blood. We realize that dart, that's not the source of the dart. The person's here who, who might have said something, done something, but the reality is behind that is the source. You need to know the source of where that fiery dart came from. It's really important to know that, but more importantly, it's also to, well, they're both important. It's also important to realize, okay, so say for you're not, you're, your guard's down, you aren't paying attention, life happens, the dart hits you, you go, oh, wow, that hurts. Let me just, you know, oftentimes it's family, someone close to you, pull the dart out. Okay, Lord, I'm gonna pull that dart out, let you pull it out, my angels pull it out, whoever can pull it out. And I'm just gonna use my will to choose 
to forgive this person for whatever it is. It doesn't matter. Whatever it is, you can use the word of your testimony. It just as Revelation says, using the word of your testimony, you are going to say with your words, Jesus, I ask you to wash me in your precious blood for any unforgiveness I've held on to against this one. I use my will to choose to forgive them. And I ask you to wash me in your blood and I repent and turn from that way of thinking, that way of behaving, Lord. And I ask you to wash me in your precious blood. And I use my will to choose to release them of all debt they owe me. Even if I don't feel it all the way in my heart yet, I I choose to release them of all debt. And Lord, just as your word says in Romans 12, 14, bless those who curse us. Don't curse them, but ask God to bless them. Lord, I ask you to bless, name each person, bless this person, Lord. Even if I don't feel all the way in my heart yet, I ask you to bless them. And on the basis of being washed in your precious blood, I ask you to remove anything added by your ancient enemy, even that dart, remove it. And I ask you to to fully disconnect me from anything that's not of you. And when we pray that prayer, you guys, we're actually using our will to choose to release that person. Now, the reason why I say, even if you don't feel all the way in your heart yet, because sometimes your heart's like, did you see what they did? What? I don't want to forgive them. That was pretty awful, <laughs> right? Part of your heart's like, yeah, no. Other part of your heart can be like, well, yeah, we got Ephesians 6, 12 is real. So you could have that internal struggle going on. So we just we just honor all of our heart, right? Because we need every part of our heart, all of our heart. And we just say, okay, I know you might not feel all the way yet, but I'm still going to use my will to choose to forgive this person and release that forgiveness. Because when we release that forgiveness, now we get the healing. And really, like I mentioned, releasing the forgiveness as well as releasing the pain and the trauma. So you also, after you do all that, you can just say, Lord, I just release to you this pain. This hurts because the reality is, you guys, it flipping hurts. But regardless of where the source came from, it doesn't feel good. It hurts. So, Lord, I just release that pain to you. I release the trauma. I release the hurt. I release the offense. I release it all to you. I just say thank you. Thank you for taking it. You, you say in your word that that you um bind up the the wounds of the brokenhearted, right? You say that it's by your wounds that we are healed. So we, on that basis, Lord, we know that you're qualified to take this pain, take this trauma, and I just release it to you. And by doing that now, you guys, not only do we release the forgiveness, we also release the pain. Now we're getting healing in that heart, our heart, right? And now we're, and so it's important, guys, where I said in in my comments is that my my, uh, description it's important to to forgive, to release. And the reason why you want to do that for is because those heart wounds, again, cause blind spots. But also think about this. When there was a king, he was traveling, you know, going to war. He puts on all this armor. Remember back in the Bible days, putting on all his armor. How many times did that arrow just hit right between a seam and boop, killed the king? They got hit. That, that that arrow was able to go th- get just the one weak spot that was there in his armor and boop, he got hit with the arrow. And that's why it's important that we forgive and we let our hearts get healed. That the Lord heal all of our heart to really be, and it's a lifelong journey. It's something have we ever done. The Lord always has more for us, but there's power in, in really being intentional to not having those heart wounds, making sure there's no thread, there's no there's no seam in your heart where any of those arrows can land on. Because once it lands on there, now you want to you definitely need a session. But it's also right now you feel more of the effects of that of that wound because you feel it and it hurts a lot more because now there was a place in your heart where that arrow can actually land. And, you know, there are times when guys, we're going to experience that. We're going to experience, oh, there's more healing the Lord has for me right here. And that's a good time to get a heart healing session, right? Because he has more for us. And there are times when we just realize, Lord, yeah, I just, I renounce whatever that, whatever could be a lie we're believing. It could be an offense we're holding on to, anything of that nature, right? That there's that little hairline 
weakness in our armor that the dark can land. Once we realize it, we just say, Lord, I just renounce my agreement with that. I would choose forgiveness, whatever it takes, Lord, remove the dart and heal my heart. I just receive the more and the healing that you have for me, God. And it's so powerful, guys, but I see it in sessions, the power of forgiveness, the power of someone who has struggled with something their entire life that has robbed them of joy, robbed them of peace, robbed them of relationships, robbed them of their health. You guys, we are spirit, we are soul, and we are body. Their, even their health has been robbed because they held on. They weren't willing to release that forgiveness or the trauma. And now they've lost all, all this loss so many years upon years. And all they had to do was use this process with the Lord to receive the healing so that we don't have to hold on to those hurts. We don't have to let that dart. If the dart somehow gets through it, a weakness in our seam of our armor, it can be healed and it can be removed because of Jesus already, he, he's, he already won the victory for us. Every victory has already been won. His, his blood he shed on the cross is effective. It is real. It is real for today. And we can claim the blood of Jesus to wash us, to cover us, to heal us, to let him into all the parts of our heart. And we can receive it, the fullness of the healing that he has for us in our in our heart, our hearts, in our relationships, in our businesses, in all, in our health, in all of our lives. So I don't know if this resonates with you, but it's just something that the Lord would put on my heart today to share that we need to keep releasing because Ephesians 6, 12 is real. And, and, but we know that the victory is already won you guys that we have a starting place of victory because Jesus is our Lord and we've received him as Lord and Savior and that we are letting him into all the parts of our heart to receive the fullness of the healing that he has for us. So I bless you with that. If you have any questions, let me know. I'd love to hear your comments. If I can pray for you, I'd love to be able to pray for you. If you feel like this landed with you and you're like, oh my gosh, I have some, I'm having a hard time releasing that pain. Oh, I'm having a hard time releasing that forgiveness. That's when we need the body, right? We need somebody else to help come alongside us to pray. So we're able to get the breakthrough for that healing. I still receive sessions. I still pay for sessions to be received for myself because I know that I value the time of that, that facilitator and the money that they've spent to be able to get to where they are to, to, to serve me and to help me get the healing. And sometimes we just can't do it ourselves. We use the two ninja tools ourselves, but sometimes we get stuck. So you guys, I still receive, I still pay for sessions because I need them because I, I want to go further with the Lord. I want to receive the fullness that he has for me. I want to go further on the journey that he has for me. I want to step into my destiny and my design powerfully without anything holding me back. So I love you. Bless you. If you have any questions, let me know. I'd be honored to pray for you. Just put in the comments your thoughts, what the Lord was showing you in my conversation with you. I'd love to hear. Have a great day. Bless you. Bye-bye.